today video going about the Porsche Macans and as of right now I have several Macans for sale I'm gonna compare this 2018 base with 2.0 engine and uh, I might say 243 horsepower but some some of them has 252 and some of them 243 I have no idea how you can measure that but different uh, maybe different years or some years they, they've been changing horsepower okay let's go on the 250 horsepower for 2.0 Macan and it's gonna get 0 to 60 for 3 for 6.3 seconds which is not bad for 2.0 engine and as of right now this car has no major issues at all even the maintenance been done on time so this car in a great shape it's 2018 it's a half of the price from the new one it's in a great condition i like to drive it i want to share with you this one and also i do have a macan s the one i'm going to show it to you also I do like a lot of things about this car. It's a small SUV. It's perfect for your needs in the city. I mean, if it's a family car, it might gonna be more than enough. If you have one or two kids, three kids, it's kind of a little bit problematic, I would say so. But it's good on gas. It's a nice looking car. It's a luxury brand. It's a Porsche. The quality is still remaining the same. I like all the pieces of this car. And also, I like the way the hood opening and gives you all access to this engine if you want to do some uh, stuff yourself. But again, the cool point, the way hood opening, so you're going to have access. Basically, the mechanics, they're not going to scratch the fenders. I don't know why the other Porsches are not doing the same as this one or as a mini. <laughs> Today I'm gonna drive and review youth Porsche Macan and that's regular one base 2.0 turbo engine all-wheel drive 60,000 miles on it so you basically can find this car on the market I would say I'm always saying between so because there's always like the condition uh, matter and the mileage so 60 70 000 miles on the market you can find it probably between 26 30. so 26 30 000. what you can buy for that money let me know you can buy the honda crv or hyundai tucson So what you can buy for 30,000, 30,000, you have a lot of choice. You might have a choice to buy used Highlander or almost new RAV4 or Tucson or Santa Fe or maybe Jeep. How come you can choose to buy the Porsche? I would say because it's cheaper than the new, it has good mileage. It's a Porsche, it's a comfortable ride, and it has a lot of those luxury stuff Porsche has, and it's still not bad. I mean, basically, even right now, 24, they didn't change the shape of the Macan. Yes, they did a lot of stuff on the headlights, uh, and on and on and on. But in general, the shape of the car, the size of it, staying the same. So it's not bad car at all and i would say when you're driving it on when you have one nobody even knows how much you pay for that most of the time people know it's a porsche it's expensive and it's probably gonna cost you a lot of money for maintenance but it's actually not and this car i would say so kind of highly practical and uh I don't know much people, I would say, I don't know much owners of the Porsche Macan who had a lot of problems, they regret to buy it, they, they sold it because the car been breaking down or the car been sucking a lot of money from the pocket, I just simply don't know those guys. Even though I have one person recently sold his 2017 Macan with 198,000 miles original. And he sold it for about 15,000. So somebody bought it, 15,000 for 200,000 miles 
Porsche Macan. And it was S, not the base one. So, but before I'm going to do the video outside and inside, I'm going to take it to a quick car wash because this car been sitting at the storage and uh, kind of got dusty, but it's a black on beige and it's a nice car. I, I really enjoy it. I'm enjoying it to drive this car. I'm not sure about daily because it's kind of tiny, small for me, I would say. But in general, every time I'm jumping on a McLaren, driving it, I like it. I like it because I think it's a, one of the best small size SUV you can buy right now. Even though this is six years old Porsche, 64,000 miles on it, it's still beautiful and it's still worth to buy. So let's go on the back of this car. Begin. Uh, I'm gonna sit behind myself and uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Look at my legs. Yeah, I'm pushing a little bit the seat, but in general, I can click the seat belt to put in a safe position myself, right? So I'm doing the click and I got some space. I have a cup holders and that's not bad at all. I mean, if I want to put my kids on the back, they're going to fit and uh, even somebody else is going to drive it and I'm going to sit here. Not a problem. Climate control. It's kind of, I mean, it's, I would say, uh, poor equipped on the back, but it's a Porsche Macan. So what can you say? So we got a couple USB chargers right there. We got the climate control, but climate control we only can go on a low, low cold or we can go on a high, high hot so again i don't know who's using the rear climate control on those kind of cars but it's cool to have it i mean on the smallest uv it's not bad option at all even on the back right here look at the door panels they look you know gorgeous they look so good the stitches the quality of the rubberish or plastic in this car is just high that's what i like about used porsche you're not paying 70,000 60,000 80,000 for the new one you're paying 25 30,000 for the used one but you are getting nice used quality suv probably you can drive it for next five seven years without major issues if you're going to do the maintenance sometime that's always number one thing you have to do on your used car so the way you can recognize the porsche if it's an older model or it's a facelifted newer model uh, macan you can tell by rear tail light so basically that's an old style tail light going since 2016 i believe till 2019 and i wouldn't say it looks old because the car itself the body shape of it remaining the same but it's not bad looking car at all especially those exhaust tips they look like always Porsches let's check the trunk area you know where is the button to open the trunk you're right it's right there you're not not opening the glass it's opening the whole tailgate and uh, it's in the trunk for sure we get some oil sitting on the side and it's not mine looks like the previous owner got the oil just in case if it's burning more than they need it so we got the spare tire it's a uh, donut whatever you're gonna call it that's a german engineering spare tire not as a regular one but at least it has some not the run flat so what we got on the side we got some pocket we can hide something from your wife if you want to because nobody nobody gonna go that side except you or maybe mechanic and that's it so plenty of space the back seat you can drop it and you're gonna have even more space so it's nice to have a power lift gate in this car. And what's other cool option, even this car, it's kind of cheap and it's base Macan. We have this switch. For sure, it's gonna be on the left side. And as long as I have a key in the pocket, I can start the car like that. Nice. What I can tell you by driving Macan S 3.0, 340 horsepower definitely this car is quicker it is faster and um, 
definitely it burns more gas and definitely this black leather seats right now in june in los angeles they super super hot it's it's kind of not annoying but it's not comfortable to jump inside with super hot seats so but the cool point this car has a ventilated coolant heated seats not only heated like my other base has so coolant seats but again it's not helping right away you have to drive it for a bit the best best i would say so it start the car and just wait outside for maybe five seven minutes until it's gonna cool off i'm gonna turn on the ec right now because it's it's just insanely hot inside this car other than that macan s or macan base i cannot say there is a huge difference on that 64,000 miles on my base one and 73,000 miles on the s one and looks like s feel a little bit more uh used abused i wouldn't say it's abused but just used looks like the people been driving this car whoever own it uh more aggressive it has two previous owners and uh still great shape i mean leather the steering wheel the seats uh the buttons everything is clicking everything is working nothing falling apart but just i have that feeling on the suspension you know when it's jumping bumping so and the steering control a little bit kind of loose a little bit slightly so i think whoever owned this car they've been driving it more aggressively aggressively than my base one even the key look at this key fob for this macan so somebody loved the car and been uh doing a lot of cool stuff also there is a cd player you can use it and you can also put the uh, sd cards it has this what does it mean it means the owner was kind of kind of taking care of the car so he was using that rack to clean the screen and i have to admit there is no scratches at all on the screen so it's the same year it's the same body uh around about the same price right now as a used one but it's i mean by the engine and uh, the way the car drives it's a little bit more heavier obviously because the engine is bigger but this one car uh, this one feels more sporty because the engine is stronger so every time i step on the gas i kind of feel in those horsepower but it's not 911 but it's still a nice small town suv so this 2018 macan s has v6 engine 340 horsepower making zero to 60 for five seconds instead of base one making it for 6.3 seconds is it much cooler than the base oh not really i mean those rims blacked out and the whole car is black looks kind of aggressive so the reason i think any porsche even macan base one or macan s gts doesn't matter it is a good investment for you because this car not going to lose value it's not going to lose depreciate that much as the other suv about the same size the quality i mean this car built with quality even after six years it's still remaining kind of same maybe a little bit suspension loose maybe engine needs more attention because there's oil leaks coming and uh, again the maintenance higher mileage car need more attention need a little bit more money on maintenance but other than that porsche it is a great investment even if it's a Macan, Cayenne or 911, that's for sure. Okay, let's go over the condition. The condition remaining same great, but this car actually has a both sound system. So you can feel it a little bit different. The seats are in great shape. The leather, the stitches, they all, they all in great condition. That's what I would say. The mid console, has a little bit more buttons so a little bit more actually only right here we got cooled seats and heated seats on the base one we have only heated seats climate control this car has navigation chrono pack and look at the driver's seat the driver's seat same 73,000 miles the car in really good shape maybe just a little bit 
spot on the seat right here i would say so but other than that the stitches remain the same as from the factory that's a good sign that's a good condition seats and it's a good condition car so i don't know guys if you like more this one or that one i would say for the macan s since we got more expensive edition 360 camera would be much nicer than just regular backup camera look right here that's the rack for the screen that's the sim for your phone and couple sd cards you can use and you can use the cd not anymore so that's end of era for the cds are you guys using still cds or not anymore let me know in the comments below sometimes maybe once a year i can find a good cd i really want to play it somewhere but there is less and less cars on the market less cars i'm getting with the spot where i can put and sort that cd and listen so is it good or bad i think it's kind of bad so porsche doing good cars i mean they used to do it before they still doing it right now is it worth it to buy used porsche macan i think it is again the matter of price the money so 25 30 000, nice looking suv with tons of options if you get in uh, macan s that's more horsepower that's a little bit more money for the maintenance for sure more money for uh for the gas usage but in general it is a cool car to drive it is a fairly comfortable i would say so quick enough and it's a nice looking car so the major problems i know about the macans about the porsche that's number one timing chain and usually that's uh, poor maintenance or when the maintenance was not done at all number two that's a transmission issue again if somebody driving it super hard the transmission going bad it's slipping it's jerking and transfer case it's a common problem for the audi vw and the porsche also the fluid so basically the oil change of silicone on the transmission case is going to illuminate that problem because it's uh wobbling a little bit like kind of rubber uh, rubber noise when you turn in left or right you might gonna hear that uh rubberish noise so when the tires you know the thing <laughs> so the transfer case uh issue when it's doing a little bit jerking or kicking or uh kind of making grinding noise usually that's the issue you're gonna fix with the oil change with silicone thing like uh, silicone additive the one going to the transfer case and other than that it's a great car honestly like i say before yesterday when i was driving uh macan base i know the guy with 200,000 miles on the car and he sold it the car was pretty good shape and the car didn't have uh, any, any any major issue during that 200,000 mileage that's insane 